Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Collecting 101. In today's episode, we're going to talk about probably the most beautiful glass ever made, and that is Tiffany glass. We're going to delve into the history, as well as the popularity, and of course, the value of your Tiffany glass. Be ready for some huge numbers in this episode. All right, let's get into the history. Tiffany glass is the generic name describing the many types of glass developed by Louis Comfort Tiffany. Lewis started as a painter in 1865 and after visiting the Victorian Albert Museum to view the Roman and Syrian glass, thought contemporary glass left a lot to be desired. By 1875, he developed an interest in stained glass making and worked at glass houses until 1878 while also being an interior decorator. After that, he opened his own glass foundry because he was unable to find the types of glass that he desired for interior decorating. The business thrived right from the get-go due to his inventiveness, leadership, and talent. His skills became renowned around the world. By 1885, the Tiffany Glass Company then turned into Tiffany Studios and to focus on the art in glass. He always experimented with different glasses to find the perfect glass. He found that claret bottles and preserved jars were more beautiful in color and quality than any existing stained glass due to the oxides of iron in the glass. In 1893, Tiffany built the Stour Bridge Glass Company in New York, which introduced the term Favriel, which is handmade in French, with some examples be appearing at the World's Fair in Chicago in 1893. By 1895, much of the company production was making stained glass and lamps. At its peak, his factory employed over 300 artisans. Now, over the years, Tiffany was able to design the Mark Twain House in Hartford, Connecticut, and even the 21st president, Chester Allen Arthur, refused to move into the White House until it was redecorated by Tiffany. He worked in the East Room, the Blue Room, the Red Room, as well as the State Dining Room. Now, Tiffany produced and developed glass as well as interior design all over the world until his death in 1933 of pneumonia. Tiffany pieces are known worldwide nowadays and are some of the most beautiful and valuable pieces of glass to ever be created. All right, let's get on to the popularity. All right, so let's get into the popularity of Tiffany glass. Now we're going to show you a lot of different popular types of Tiffany glass to help you distinguish one from the other and hopefully not get caught up in fake ones when you're out in the wild. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Favreal. Now this is distinctive due to its superficial iridescence which causes the surface to shimmer. Now he would use the iridescence in American butterflies, necks of pigeons, as well as peacocks. The next one we're going to talk about is streamer glass. This refers to a sheet of glass with a pattern of glass strings affixed to its surface. He used the glass to represent twigs, branches, and grass. The next one we're going to talk about is fracture glass. Fracture glass refers to the sheet of glass with a pattern of irregular shaped thin glass wafers affixed to the surface. This was used to represent foliage from afar. The next one we're going to talk about is the fracture streamer glass. Now this is pretty much just a combo of the last two we spoke about, but really gave off a really unique piece. The next one is ripple glass. This refers to a sheet of textured glass with marked surface waves. Tiffany used these to represent water as well as leaf veins. The next one is the ring model glass. This refers to a sheet of glass with model created by the localized treated opacification as well as crystal growth in dynamics. Now this one is actually one of the most rare patterns to come across because once it closed, uh, Tiffany closed in 1928, the secret formula was forgotten and lost. It was used for details on leaves as well as other natural elements. Now the last one we're going to talk about in this category is drapery glass. This refers to a sheet of heavily folded glass that suggests fabric folds. It was used in stained glass windows to add a 3D effect to flowing robes as well as angel rings. This one is the absolute hardest to make, which makes it also the most unique. Now a few of the other types we're going to talk about are the fireball glass, the geometric glass, the damascene glass, the Nautilus glass, pastel tulips, pine needles, pomegranate, and red tulip. 
Now, these are just a bunch of different types of Tiffany glass, but all very popular, very expensive, and a huge amount of value. And you know, once you get into Tiffany glass like this, and just it's really in just the popularity section, I want to show off just tons of this stuff because to me, some of the most and it probably is the most beautiful glass that's on the market today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the popularity. Let's get on to a huge portion of this video, which is going to be the value of Tiffany glass. So let's get on to that. All right, guys, so let's get into the value of your Tiffany glass. And you know, I always like to start with condition. And just like all the other glass videos we talk about, you want no chips, no cracks, and no repairs. Tiffany glass needs to be taken care of. And man, the value you're going to hold on to with this is just unheard of. Again, not just tons of Tiffany glass out there. So when you get a piece or if you come across a piece, I'm telling you, please take care of it and preserve this history. All right, so how to identify your Tiffany glass? This is gonna be a little tougher because reproductions nowadays are made so well that it's really hard to distinguish from real and fake. So the best thing I can tell you is research. Research the glass making process, the quality, the metals used. You're gonna have to go deep into this research, but when you have something so high end, the more research you're doing, the better off you are anyway. Because the fact that reproductions are so prevalent and so well done, the more you can know and the more knowledge that you have, the less likely you are to get you know, bamboozled in the long run. Uh, the one thing I know you can do, um, they say you can you know, get nail polish remover, put it on a cotton swab, and then wipe it over the glass. Since Tiffany glass embedded the color inside the glass, it won't come off, where some of the newer reproductions would come off because the color is on the outside of the glass. All right, let's get into value. Now, value is all over the place with Tiffany. I mean, you're not gonna a hundred dollars for you know low end pieces, you're, you know, or if you're looking at vases and stuff, you're looking at probably in the twenties and thirties and forty dollars. But when you get into the high end stained glass or the high end lamps, you're looking in the hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars sometimes. You know, I mean, the the prices on these are just. Un, unheard of you know and a lot of it depends on rarity which we'll talk about here in a second but a lot of it is just that quality glass that you just don't see nowadays nowadays everybody repurposes or reproduces and it's just it really it really bogs down the market and i can't stand it so the value of your tiffany glass can range but trust me if you come across a piece of tiffany um, and again, I'll show you the markings is here as well. Here's some of the markings that'll appear on the bottom or if it's signed, uh, you're gonna want as much proof as possible to know that this is an authentic Tiffany piece. So keep that in mind too, before you start saying my piece is worth a, a million dollars, make sure you have all the pieces in place to prove why it is an authentic Tiffany. All right, so let's get into my favorite part of all of these collecting 101s. And that is the top three most expensive pieces of Tiffany glass sold. Now I'm gonna put a little uh, spin on this one. The top two are actually not gonna be off of eBay. So number three is actually gonna be the highest eBay sold listing of Tiffany glass. But the other two happened at private auction and I had to tell you them or because the, the amount is so ungodly that you guys will be you know, quite amazed at the prices of these Tiffany pieces. All right, so number three on the list is an, an 1890s Tiffany's piece of stained glass. Now this blue piece sold for over $15,000. Crazy. I come across stained glass all the time, but again, to have an authentic Tiffany piece like this and fetching that kind of money is just, it's, it's nuts. Um, all right, so number two on our list actually happened at a private auction. Um, it is the Pink Lotus Tiffany Lamp. It sold for $2.8 million. I mean, if you really just sat and look at this lamp and you look at how gorgeous it is and just the intricacies and you know the, the work that went into making this piece, it is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I absolutely love this stuff. We'll never come across it. We'll never be able to buy it, I'm sure. But man, what an amazing piece. All right, so let's talk about number one on our list today. Because number two, the Pink Lotus lamp was number one for a while, uh, but this number two, or number one, actually, I think it was 2018, this sold, it was the Pond Lily table lamp, and it sold for $3.4 million. Unbelievable. The prices that you're seeing for some of these Tiffany pieces, you might be asking, why did it go so high? Well, this piece right here actually was only produced from 1902 to 1906. And when that small of a production, there's some rare, rare ones out there and ones that actually made it to this point that didn't get damaged or broken. 
Uh, that's why this one is so high. I mean, it is just, that's $3.4 million for a lamp. It's, it blows my mind sometimes with antiques and how the prices can go so crazy. All right, guys, that's our video today on Tiffany. I hope you guys enjoyed it, man, the history. It just amazes me that one person was responsible for this just boom of uh, of glass and of just you know inventiveness. It really is inspiring for someone like me because it just shows you that one person can change anything. And for this one person to change the whole glass industry, it just gives you hope that you can be that one person that changes what you want to change in whatever industry you want to get into. So it's very inspiring. Uh, the popularity, again, I just wanted to show you guys as many pieces as possible because I tell you, you won't sign, you won't find a better, you know, a beautiful, more beautiful glass than Tiffany. And then of course the value, if you didn't come into this video knowing that these values are going to be sky high, you don't know much about antiques, or you've never been to an auction. Because anytime I've come across Tiffany, it's always in the hundreds to thousands of dollars. Never can touch it. But man, it'd be really cool to own a Tiffany piece, not a Tiffany style piece, because that's what you'll see with the reproductions. I'll call it Tiffany style. But me, I would like an authentic Tiffany piece would be quite amazing. So... All right, guys, that's our video today. If you guys get some time and you enjoy the content, make sure you throw those likes, comments, and subscribes, shares, all that great stuff. Much appreciated. Um, and actually, in the comment section below, always throw out more ideas for collecting 101 videos. Uh, you know, I got tons of uh, ideas already written down, but I can always use more, and more ideas never hurt anybody. So throw those in the comment section, and let me know if you guys have any Tiffany pieces in your collection as well. And you guys know me, when I always talk about collecting, it's always about your memories, over money. See you guys later.